So, I got two more CDs. The first CD I got is Avenged Sevenfold Self-Title. This is the album I originally wanted to get instead of City of Evil, but uh, this I wouldn't have been able to get it at the same time I would have gotten my other CDs because I got City of Evil along with um, some other shit. The same thing goes with pretty much, I think, every other Avenged Sevenfold CD. If I were to buy another Avenged Sevenfold CD, I wouldn't get it the same day I'd be getting everything else. I just bought these yesterday and I got these today, but if I were to buy, like, Hail to the King or something, I would would be getting that like maybe a couple days after and I don't have patience. Uh, this is probably the first like proper metal album I ever listened to. Friend Sava and Nikki and I think maybe Rado wanted me to listen to them. The first Event Sevenfold song I ever heard was Gunslinger and that's because my friend put it while uh, we were listening to music in a voice call. So uh, here's the back. Here's the front. The um... CD is looking pretty cool. Uh, the booklet so far is just white. They did go for just very white in general on this album, and I don't know how to feel about that, but... All right, first thing... Ooh, we get some cool-ass looking art. We get some lyrics, which... I I, I, I don't, I I don't want to overstate, but I think I should talk about how much that I appreciate lyrics being put in these little booklets, but we got some cool fucking art. I'm really liking this art so far, and this is, like, the first page another piece of art which is just so fucking cool oh this is cool as fuck this is this may this is one of my favorite booklets so far oh that's cool as hell dude this is like the coolest this is probably oh this is the single cover for afterlife i believe are these all single covers these may be all single covers i could be wrong oh that's I fucking love this one. Okay, this is probably my favorite one so far. Image of the band with some credits. This is of such a fucking cool booklet. I love this booklet. Event Sevenfold's fourth album is their self-titled and their furthest stay away from metalcore at the time, branching out into traditional heavy and alternative metal. It's also the first album to have their drummer, The Rev, be a main co-vocalist for the entire album, making major vocal appearances in songs like Critical Acclaim, Lost, and A Little Piece of Heaven. Unfortunately, this is also the last album that the band made with The Rev a follow his passing in late 2009. I will talk more about the Rev's passing here, but that's a topic better suited for the next album, Nightmare. This was Avenged Sevenfold's most experimental album at the time, as the band plays with more genres than they did in their previous efforts. Symphonic Metal was a decently large presence, especially in comparison to albums like City of Evil and Waking the Fallen. Afterlife and A Little Piece of Heaven are symphonic metal masterpieces that utilizes orchestras perfectly, a special A Little Piece of Heaven. There's also hints of thrash and groove in Almost Easy and Scream, on top of the country influences in Gunslinger and Dear God. But even with all these different changes in sounds and influences, Avenged Sevenfold's self-title doesn't feel feel like it's incoherent or has an out of place song. It manages to keep the album sound by not really having a specific sound at all. M Shadow's voice surprisingly fits well with all of the different sounds, even if some may find his voice irritating or something of that sort. Personally, I love Matt's voice, even if it has gotten worse within recent times. But there isn't talking about Event Sevenfold in general without mentioning in detail the masterpiece that is a little piece of heaven. I would give it a full review within a review, but I think I'll save that for another video. It's without a doubt Event Sevenfold's magnum Opus, and it's such a fucking shame of what happened to the Rev, as he was the main writer behind this track. It is absolutely just a perfect song. My only complaint is that A Little Piece of Heaven wasn't the closer for this album and Dear God instead. Which isn't to say Dear God is a bad song, because it's honestly one of my favorite Event Sevenfold songs. I mean, this album in general is filled with my favorite Event Sevenfold songs. Critical Acclaim is also really fucking good, even if the lyrics didn't age too well. But yeah, self titled by Event Sevenfold is an easy 100 one out of 100. The only song I find less enjoyable than the others is Gunslinger, but it's still such a bop. If you're looking for a metal band, I would definitely recommend Event Sevenfold. And the second album I have is Deuces Invincible, because I'm tired of this motherfucker saying bump invincible. So now I actually have it, and now he, he can't tell me to bump invincible, because I fucking bumped it. This album disappointed a lot of people, but it did not disappoint me. This is the back. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. This back looks fucking weird. And then this is the front. Oh, that's the nightmare thing! For Nightmare? That's the, uh, that, that CD, that's for Nightmare. That's cool as fuck, because if you're a fan of Deuce, you may know that the, like, official lyric song for Nightmare, that's what it is. And, but instead of, um, it's saying Nightmare, it says Invincible, so that's pretty cool. Here's the beginning of the booklet. I don't know, if, that's just masks. I don't know if that's supposed to represent all of his other masks, but those are some masks. There's some credits. Let's see what this booklet has to offer. It just seems to be lyrics which 
I appreciate. I like that he, uh, there's some art behind the lyrics, but it's not as noticeable as the Event Sevenfold one. We have this one. This one looks pretty cool. Featuring Gadget. We're talking about you featuring Gadget. All right, so that's it for the booklet. Now let's talk about the songs on this album. Deuce's second album, Invincible, surely is an album. Truthfully, its history deserves a video in itself, but I'll make do with a short recap for now. Invincible has a pretty goofy overall history, but it all boils down to a battle between Deuce and his record label. Deuce first performed the song Nightmare in Moscow, Russia in 2014 to promote Invincible, despite the fact that Nightmare didn't make it to the official Invincible tracklist. Deuce leaked Invincible in 2019, but shortly thereafter, his label took down the post, but his fans were still running around with the leaked music and was wondering when it was going to be released officially. Then it was. But the track listing was pretty different and added some pretty weird songs. That's all I'll say about the history, but I'll talk about the actual out music now. Invincible is weird, kind of in both a good and bad way. There are some songs in here that feel incredibly generic, almost like their beats were ripped off a quick YouTube search and then Deuce would spend about 15 minutes writing lyrics. These generic hip hop songs are stuff like Here I Come, Bitch This Is It, My Buddy, and Gone Tomorrow Here Today. There just really isn't anything to those songs and they just feel like filler. Past those songs are some pretty great ones and they feel like there was actual effort put into it. Thank You is a strange song for Deuce, but it feels like it's almost straight from the heart. World on Fire is a pretty interesting track, especially with the acoustic guitar and unclean vocals that are seen throughout. Then there are some heavy ones like Best of Me, Catch Me If You Can, Pull Me Under, and the title track. Deuce is a surprisingly great unclean vocalist and makes good use of his voice. Even with the shitty songs, I still find some semblance of quality in the god-awful lyrics. They're pretty funny on a first listen, honestly. Truthfully, I give Invincible an 80 out of 100. There are some bad songs, but I still find them quite enjoyable on a humorous level. Even then, I can't deny the absolute gems on this album. Good thing the cut songs from this album made it in a public EP. But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and, uh, well, see you in another video.